Beatty, Hammond, Team 71. I'm assuming that when you first hear that, you think of the FRC team who defined an era in their early years, from their inauguration in 1996, and then for quite a few years after that, with it, where it's up to you to decide when that ended. However, today I want to look at this as they're a team where the question isn't did they have an era, but rather the question is how long did it last? Because for quite a while they were able to keep consistency with both the quality of the robots and their performance. So today I'm going to look back at we're going to look back at their history through that era as well as looking at why I feel that they could be a team to come back now. Let's start off with their history. They started in 1996 first going at the first national 1996 national championship where they would get the number 1 seed. They would not win this championship. However, getting number 1 seed at your first ever competition, which is the national championship, is a very impressive feat for a rookie team. 1997, they would start off with the Motorola Midwest Regional. Here, they would become number one seed, as well as winning the regional. Then they would go on to the national championship, where they'd win the Leadership and Control Awards, as well as winning the 1997 national championship. This is back before the era of Double Trouble and the like, back when it was important, to, back when only one robot won, so they were the world championship with their single robot. 1998, they would not do as well. They would win creativity at the Motorola Motor, Motorola Midwest Regional, and then win the Excellence in Engineering Award at the National Championship in 1998. However, they still were able to create a great robot. However, it wouldn't do as well robot performance-wise as some other years. 1999, this they actually teamed up with the same ti- team three times here at both regionals at, and at the World Championship. Them and the other team winning two regionals and then going out of the World Championship where they'd get out in the semifinals. One thing that's interesting about this is Bear in mind, this is before the rule where you weren't allowed to push other robots over. The alliance who bested them in the semifinals actually pushed them over and then would score while they were pushed over, and that's how they defeated the Beast in 1999. And even of the teams who did end up winning the World Championship, the only two teams to win two banners that year were 71 and their partners 27. They had quite an amazing robot, and it took pushing them over to beat them at the World Championship. 2000, they would win the Creativity Award at the Motorola Midwest Regional and then go on to the National Championship. 2001, this would be their second year of winning Worlds. They would start off at the West Michigan Regional, getting number one seed, winning the Incredible Play Award as well as the Industrial Design Award, and then win this regional in 2001. Remember, this is a year, it was almost a different kind of year in first. This wouldn't be where you'd have several robots going against each other. Instead, you had four robots in the field helping out each other, trying to score as many points as possible, as well as getting the time multipliers. What they were able to do, which was outstanding, was with their alliance at World, they had it down to a T, where they could score the most possible points in the world, in the game possible, with their alliance. They would go into the Motorola Midwest Regional, where they would get number one seed, incredible play, as well as winning the regional. Then at 2001, they would go to the Newton Division as the first ever competition world championship with divisions they would win the division and then they would go on to win the championship their alliance consisting of 279 365 125 294 and themselves against an alliance of 144 33 349 254 and 111 now on to the 2002 season they do well again in 2002 starting off in the motorola midwest they would win the engineering inspiration award as well as winning the regional Onto to the Western Michigan, they would not win this regional, winning the Delphi Driving Tomorrow's Technology Award. However, that wouldn't stop them from what they would do at the 2002 Newton Division. Yet again in the Newton Division in 2002, they would do well yet again, winning this, winning the division as well. And then they would go on to the Einstein Field with their alliance of 173 and 66, win both semis, win the first final, lose the second, win the third, to become champion, two-time championship winners. On to the 2003 season, they wouldn't do as well as previous years. However, one thing that they wouldn't do that they hadn't done in previous is they would get out in the finals of a regional, that being the Western Michigan. They would start off at Midwest, wouldn't do, wouldn't make it to the finals there, go on to Western Michigan, get out in the finals, win the Industrial Design Award, and go on to the 2003 Curie Division. 2004, start off at Midwest, win Engineering Inspiration there, go on to Western Michigan, win the regional Woody Flowers Award, as well as Motorola Quality. Then they would go on to 2004 Archimedes. They would win their division here, 
going to the championship in 2004. They would win the championship yet again here. And one thing about this that's interesting for their records is that in 2002, they would win the championship, becoming three-time world champions. That record would not be matched until 2010 when the hot team won their third world championship. That is one thing to note that's quite impressive is that their three-time world championship record stood until 2010. 2004, them 494 and 435 would be part of the number five alliance go on to win the world championship in almost a direct mirror of their last one in 2002 where they would win two in blue bumpers go on to the finals win the first lose the second win the third and blue bumpers become world champions four time world champions now that record wasn't broken until 2018 when 254 the cheesy poofs would win that and it has still not been bro- it the record hasn't been broken it's been tied just a note one other thing about them is with Hammond, after 2004, they would make it to Einstein's one more time. However, in exception to that, most people would say that their record would either end in 2005 or 2004. Now, I have a bit of a different opinion, and this is for two reasons. One, because until 2000, I say 2007 is really when that ended. Why? Because after 2007, they don't normally do as well as they did before. However, 2007 is almost like a very symbolic thing, and here's why. Because in the finals, they would make it, not only would they win their division in 2007, but they would also make it to Einstein finals. And you know what alliance would end up winning in 2007? That's right, the number 8 alliance. Consisting of teams 190, 987, and you guessed it, 177. This alliance was the number 8 alliance from their division, the only number 8 alliance to ever make it to the finals much less win the world championship against Hammond, a four-time world champion who made it back. Part of the number two alliance with 179 and 233, two amazing Floridian teams, and Hammond would team up, go on. They would win both of their semifinals, go on to Einstein, win the first, lose the second. It looked like it would be just like their other two past world championships, yet they'd lose the third match by four points, five points, sorry, become Einstein finalists. Here they've become Einstein finalists, and since then they have not made it back to Einstein since. However, they lost to 177. What do we know about 177? From 2006 to 2011, they would win every division they did, and I'd almost say that 2007 is a great stopping point for them and the starting point of 177. Whose stopping point would be in 2011, their last year making it to Einstein's, where they would lose to 254 in the Einstein finals. However, since then, 71 hasn't done as well since 2007. What they did do was from 2008, 2008 they'd win a regional, 2009 they'd win a regional, 2010 they'd win a regional, 2011 they would win the regional, as well as 2011 they would attend the Curie Division, where they would get out in the finals of their division. This being the closest they've made it to Einstein up until 2018, where they'd be part of the number three alliance, they'd be Only one match away from making it to Einstein, them in the number 3 alliance with 28, 26, and 103, where they would lose to an alliance, 97, 968, and 51 in the finals of the Curie Division. 2012, they would have a regional finalist showing. 2013, they'd win a regional, and they have not won a competition since then. However, since then, starting in 2015, they would get a district championship finalist at the inaugural Indiana First District Competition. 2016, they'd go to the Perry Meridian event where they become finalists. Match three, where they'd get a red card due to an alliance partner committing a red card, them getting zero points and losing the district there. 2017, same event, they would get out in the finals. 2018, St. Joseph event, they would get out in the finals. 2018 as well in the Carson division. This is where, which kind of gives me hope with how they can do. 2018, they would be the captain of the number five alliance in the Carson division. They would pick teams 1640, 52, 54, and then 8, sorry, 2, 422 as part of their alliance. They'd be the captain of the number 5 alliance. This alliance would not only win against the number 4, upsetting, then they would go on to upset the number 1 alliance. However, sadly, Hammond would break in semis 1, match 2, and they'd be unable to make it back, and they would their alliance would eventually lose to the number 2 alliance, eventual world finalists. However... Do I feel that they would have won had they fixed the robot? I do not think so. I still believe that the Alliance captain by 217 would still have won the division. However, this really goes to show this team, who hasn't done as well 
since then. They haven't made it back to Einstein since 2007. They did captain their own alliance, and they were able to make it all the way to the finals of a very competitive division against the alliance who would eventually go on to become world championship finalists. This really goes to show they've had some great showings. I mean, they had district finalists or district championship finals for years, 2015, 16, 17, and 18. I do believe there's some hope. I believe that their era went from 1997 all the way to 2007. A nice, a, quite a great era, doing some, accomplished some amazing things. However, that's all up to you. Let me know if you disagree. And let me know if you have any other ideas for eras, as I really like to uh, commemorate these teams in their eras of FRC. Thank you for watching. This has been the FRC Historian.